केंद्रीय राज्य मंत्री जितेंद्र सिंह ने प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की दूसरी जी ट्वेंटी एंटी करप्शन वर्किंग ग्रुप की बैठक को लेकर उन्होंने जानकारियां दी और इसी को लेकर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की 25 से 27 मई तक ऋषिकेश में इस बैठक का आयोजन किया जाना है और एंटी करप्शन वर्किंग ग्रुप की ये बैठक होने वाली है पच्चीस से सत्ताईस मई तक ऋषिकेश में इस बैठक का आयोजन किया जाएगा आपको बता दें कि बाईस से चौबीस मई तक टूरिज्म वर्किंग ग्रुप की बैठक श्रीनगर में आयोजित हुई और अब इस बैठक का जी ट्वेंटी की बैठक का जो अगला पड़ाव है वो एंटी करप्शन वर्किंग ग्रुप की बैठक है जो 25 से 27 मई तक ऋषिकेश में आयोजित की जानी है इसको लेकर केंद्र राज्य मंत्री जितेंद्र सिंह ने एक प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की और उसी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में ये तमाम जानकारियां साझा की and i think uh, g20 happening at 60 locations presently is one of the unique features of this phenomena none of the other countries so far has uh, gone through such a huge elaborate uh, spectrum of showcasing and i think it's also befitting india because we are a heterogeneous country east is different from west north different from south north is different from north uh, any other part so we have events happening in arunachal as far as the the most northern eastern part we have in west we had uh, just concluded today one event in sirinagar and uh, following the same pattern also the different groups are following the same pattern now today per se we are dealing with the anti uh, corruption group or anti corruption working group we already had one such meeting in gurugram and this is the second one which is going to take place in rishikesh and then subsequently in mumbai would be the ministerial kolkata and then the mumbai one and each meeting we tend to carry forward the final draft and finally before we present it in the last meeting the main focus uh, as you will recall soon after prime minister modi took over in 2014 his uh, main flagship uh, declarations of intent were twofold a zero tolerance against corruption and b zero tolerance against terrorism and if you see the focus and the direction in which this anti corruption working group has been moving over the last few years you would realize that we have sought to address both these flagship priorities laid down by prime minister modi for us the the main focus of being of this being the offenders the increasing number of money launderers and the economic offenders who leave the country after committing crime then seek refuge in a different country where the law may be differently placed or may be more liberal from their point of view so that it was one challenge the other is the utilization of this money for wrong reasons and to prevent that to get back those assets which have been pilfered away so a economic offenders b the booty carried by them how to recover and that also easily corrects with the other part of it the terror funding because if you do not effectively recover what has been taken away by these uh, internationally moving economic offenders it might lead to adding some kind of uh, supplementation to the terror machinery operating internationally